Previously on Mike Too Real. Did you come in close contact with your father? Yeah, I was with him yesterday. Okay. See what I'm saying? So you cannot do nothing, Michael, for 14 days. As of today. Alright, so my first day quarantine, I'm literally gonna be pause. Alright, so let me tell you guys if I even had COVID. Many people in my comment section actually thought I had the C virus. And thank you guys so much for the love on my last video. There were so many comments saying, people are saying, I hope you get better. Don't let it affect you. And thank you guys so much, bro. I love you guys. All my supporters always show me love. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. But I actually never had the C-Virus. Now, this is why I think I was going to get it. Because my mom, bro, my mom literally planted in my head. Oh, you're going to get the C-Virus because you can't make contact with your father, this and that. You can't go to work for 14 days, like you guys heard the conversation. And that's why I thought I was gonna get it, bro. No cap, I actually wanted to get it, just to see if it was actually as bad as the news says it was. But I actually never got it. The whole time I was quarantined, I was literally just chilling at home, bro. But it was so irritating because I couldn't go outside get any nature, I couldn't go to work. I barely worked out, all I literally did was watch netflix make tiktok videos play ps4 like that was it bro that's the reason why i thought i was gonna have the c virus but i'm gonna show you guys this clip of me actually thinking i was gonna get the c virus this shit is so funny i gotta show you guys can you guys see that bro i don't know if you guys can see that you see that peeling off my hands bro i woke up to this bro it this was not here yesterday and there's one right here too you guys see that this was not here yesterday bro and i looked this up on google and look at this peeling skin is most commonly a sign of damage to the upper layer of your skin but peeling skin can be a sign of immune system disorder or other illnesses bro other illnesses bro or it says a sunburn but this never happened to me when i was in the sun sunbathing bro so i have no clue bro i'm not getting the c virus bro I'm not getting this, bro. I still got a couple days to find out, but I'm not getting this shit, bro. I'm not getting this shit. Like, look at, like, what is that, bro? What is that? And low-key, this is peeling off too, bro. Something on my little pinky. I don't know what's going on, bro, but I literally feel fine. But I did go out to the dollar store this morning because it's literally Mother's Day. It's almost Mother's Day. I had to get my mom a card. I had to get my dad a card for his birthday and my mom's birthday. They're literally in the same week, so I have to get stuff for them because I don't want to be a bad son, you feel me? So I had my I had my mask on over my nose. I was looking like a bot and everything, but I didn't care. I had to get my mom and my dad stuff for their B-Day and Mother's Day. But, dude, I'm not getting the C-Virus, bro. Like, no. On God, bro, I thought I was gonna get the C-Virus because my skin was peeling. That's one of the symptoms of the C-Virus. Bro, there's so many symptoms of the C-Virus nowadays, bro. They just say anything. But every day I was in quarantine, my mom would check on me. She would be like, are you okay? Are you feeling any symptoms? Do you feel okay, headass? And I'm like, yes, I'm fine. Nothing's going on. Nothing's happening to me. And she kept coming in, wiping my room down, wiping the handles down and everything because the C-Virus is so deadly and everybody's dying from it. But no, guys, I never had the C-Virus. Thank you guys so much for all the love, though. I did title it, I had the C-Virus. I'm not going to say the actual word because when I was editing, I actually thought I was going to get it, bro. That's why. But if you guys didn't know, my dad actually caught it. And he was really sick. He had a fever, chills. His taste buds were basically, like, gone. Like, it was really bad. But he's okay now. He's doing better now. But my dad had his birthday when he was in quarantine in his house. I dropped off a birthday gift at my dad's house. I should have recorded it for you guys. That's crazy, bro. My dad had his birthday quarantined in his house. But if you guys actually want to know what I did on my quarantine, I was making a lot of TikTok videos. Like, a lot, a lot of TikTok videos. Bro, no cap. TikTok might be my favorite app, my favorite place to make videos. Because it's so easy, bro. It literally takes me, like, what, 30 minutes to make one video? And I can literally make, like, five to six videos a day if I have the energy for it. But if you guys didn't notice, I was making videos every single day on my quarantine. The people in my TikTok comments were like, don't you have the C-Virus? And I didn't really say anything because I knew I was going to make a video on it. But if you guys are from my TikTok, you guys know I was making videos during my quarantine. But in 11 days, I went from 12,000 on TikTok. We're almost at 13K, bro. I just... Got accepted into the creator fund. I'm so happy and grateful, bro. I'm gonna try my best. No, F that. I'm gonna stay in the creator fund, bro. I'm not gonna say any BS on TikTok that I know is gonna get banned, bro. Because I'm trying to make my bank, bro. I'm not trying to work a nine to five job, bro. To 28K on TikTok. Like, I love you guys so much, bro. I've literally grown so fast. I don't even know what to say, bro. It's crazy. But I wanna show you guys my reaction to when TikTok was bugging, saying everybody had zero followers, zero views on their account. And, bro, my reaction was crazy. I was so scared. I thought I was gonna get banned from TikTok again. But here's the reaction Haha, ha, TikTok. This is so funny. 
I'm on my computer. It says I have zero followers, bro. I just hit 12,000. I literally showed you guys, right? On my phone. Look at this. Zero followers. Are you kidding me? What are they doing to my account, bro? Bro, I'm actually like scared, bro. Like I did nothing wrong if I get banned. Oh my god. On God, I thought I was gonna get banned on TikTok again. But it was happening to everybody. It was just a little TikTok bug. But on my quarantine, I literally played PS4 actually a decent amount of times. I played a lot of 2K, a lot of Call of Duty, but I was grinding 2K. Like I was just playing by myself because I literally have no friends to play with. I was playing Rec and I was playing Play Now. And Lamella Ball is so good at throwing lobs, bro. Hey, Lomelo's too cold, dog. Holy. If you guys want to add my PSN, it should be right here. But I played a lot of PS4. I watched a lot of YouTube. This guy, Rashad, he was talking about the gas shortage. That man's knowledgeable, bro. If you guys want to watch somebody new, that man knows what he's talking about, bro. That man is so, like, knowledgeable. Like, that man just knows a lot of stuff, bro. I was watching his gas shortage video. He was talking about what's going to happen in the future. And I'm like, bro, I was thinking of the same thing, bro. And he talks about a lot of stuff on his YouTube channel. So if you want to watch somebody new on YouTube, that's the guy to watch. Bro, and it's crazy. I haven't played PS4 since November, since the new Call of Duty came out. And the only reason I played it is because I was in quarantine. If I was never in quarantine, I probably would have never picked up the controller in a long, long time. But I don't know. I miss playing PS4. And one of the main things I did was binge watch Netflix, bro. I, I literally binge watched watching Vampire Diaries, bro. That show, I don't know what it is, but that show is so addicting, bro. Like, all I was doing at nighttime, after my TikTok videos and after playing PS4, I would watch Netflix, bro, for hours and hours. I literally watched one season in, like, seven days, bro. Like, that's, like, five to six episodes a day. Grinding, bro. Like, I was grinding watching Netflix. And I also watched this show called The Circle on Netflix. I watched both season two and season one in like three days. Yeah, I know. I have no life. But thank you guys so much for all the support on my TikTok, on my YouTube. I haven't uploaded in like a week. I think my last video has like over 250 views. Thank you guys so much. My TikTok's going crazy. We're almost at 30K in like a month which is crazy. Thank you guys so much. And I'm pretty sure we're at 750 or 760 subs on YouTube. You guys are going crazy. We're so close to a thousand, bro. That is insane, bro. But anyways, I love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Peace. Shh, shh. <laughs> you feel me? La, 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 la. I can't even talk, bro. I'm done talking, bro. I still need to make one more TikTok video, but I don't know what TikTok video to make, bro. Like. I don't know what to make, bro. I don't know, bro. Now I'm getting paid on TikTok too from the creator fund. Everything is going right, bro. Everything is going, everything is going as planned, bro. Like I literally got banned and then I'm literally almost at the same amount of followers I am on my last, like so crazy, bro. Now I'm getting paid to make you or uh, TikTok video. I was about to say YouTube, but I'm literally, I already started editing the video, bro. Like I already started editing the video. All I gotta do is uh, just finish it up a little bit and uh, yeah Crazy bro. All you gotta do is grind for shit, bro, and it's gonna happen, bro. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me?